Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise. In this exercise, we are going to work with some arrays and perform some calculations against arrays. The assignment says the Ion Realty Sales Corporation would like would like to have a listing of their sales over the past few months. We are to write a program that accepts any number of monthly sales amounts. We will display the total of the values, in other words, all the sales, uh, the sum of all sales. But we are also going to show a report that shows each original value entered and the percentage that value contributes to the total. You may prompt the user for the number of values uh, to be inputted. What this means is that since we are using array, we have to ask the user how many sales are going to be recorded because arrays don't expand. If we could use a list, we wouldn't have to worry about asking the user how many sales are going to be entered. So let's get started, shall we? And um, the first thing, we're going to create an integer called number of sales. This basically will be the how many cells are going to be entered. I'll initialize it to zero. And we need the array for the cells into which every sale will be added. And since it's sales, we are going to create it as double because we can expect some of the cells to be decimal numbers. It's going to be an array of doubles called sales. Now we'll ask the user to enter how many cells are going to be recorded. So console.write and we ask, uh, please enter number of sales. And this will uh, be the actual length of our array. If the user enters five, then we know that we have to initialize our array to be five. Uh, to have five elements in it. So we will pass the whatever user enters into a number of sales. But since it's a string, we need to convert it to an integer because uh, number of sales is an integer. So we'll do the convert that to integer and we will read console.readLine. So whatever the user enters will be convert, converted to integer and passed or stored in the number of sales. So if the user enters five, number of sales will equal five. So now we know how big our array is going to be. So we can initialize it to the number of sales. So our sales array will equal to new double array with the uh, number of sales elements. Again, if user entered five, so our sales will have five elements in it or five indexes. So now we have all we need uh, as far as uh, all the variables initialized, initialized. Now we can actually ask the user to enter the, the sales. We, we ask how many sales are gonna be recorded. Now we ask for each of those sales and add each sale to our sales array. So we do a for loop for integer i equals zero. i is less than the number of sales. That's uh, that's the max maximum length of the uh, of the array. And uh, it, within the loop or inside of it, we can ask the user to enter one sale at a time. So we will do console dot write and do please enter sale. We can do number. Uh, basically, it will say please enter sale number, and if i is one, it will say one. Please enter sale number one. Then please enter sale number two, and so forth. So we will do sale number, and we will do uh, a placeholder here. And in the placeholder, actually placeholder and 
semicolon like that and in the placeholder we will pass the i in it however we cannot pass just i because i is the index of the array and it starts with zero and we don't have a cell number zero we have cell number one cell number one corresponds with cell uh, with the index number zero cell number two will correspond with the index number one and so forth so what we have to do instead of just i we have to add one to it so if cell equals one then we are actually talking about index number zero that's why we are adding it uh, adding one to it so that's our console.write and now we can whatever the user enters we will pass or store into our uh, array so our sales array of the index that we are in which is i that will equal to whatever we will read from the line whatever the user enters again sales is doubles in, uh, and the input is string so we have to to convert convert this time to double because the array is a type of double and we will do the console dot read line so whatever user enters we will add to our current index of the sale for the and for in the next iteration we will move to the next index of the sale and add whatever the user enters for that sale and so forth all the way we will loop through all the uh, number of sales that the user wants to enter so this is our loop now we can do the calculations so i will declare a dumb double sum and double sum basically will be the sum of all sales so we will do sales dot sum uh, and it will add all the uh, all the values or sum all the values in the array we don't have to loop on anything this is the c sharp built-in function for uh, for the arrays this is how we can sum all the numbers in the array so now we have a we have our sum and now we can do our display of the uh, of the final output and including the percentage of the contribution for each sale so we will do a for loop again integer i equals zero and once again i is less than the number of sales i plus plus and um, the contribution itself uh, is going to be a percentage so uh, let me get a calculator let's say i have a total sales of ninety dollars and one of the sale was twenty dollars so if i do 20 what that's the ac actual sale divided by the whole uh, amount of the whole sum which in this case would be 90 i get 0 0.22 basically uh, that means that it would be 22.222 percent or 20 20 dollars out of 90 is 22 0.22 percent and that's what i'm gonna do so um, i'll declare another double called contribution and that will equal to the the uh, sales uh, sales the current sale that i'm looping through which is the sales uh, array with the index of i divided by sum so this one this would give me the decimal number that i just showed you that would be the 0 0.222 that's not the percentage but we can make the percentage when we format the actual output so i can do console dot right line and here i can do uh, something like uh, oops like this sale number and it's gonna be the placeholder zero so it, again it will be cell number one contributed contributed uh this would be placeholder number one 
and here we will write a percentage. So in it, after the one, I can do P2, and that will basically tell uh, C sharp to format it as a percentage with two decimal uh, decimal places. So it will say sale number one contributed uh, twenty two point two two percent. So we can do again just like before. We do the number of the, uh, what sale we are on is not just I, but it's I plus one because we, again we start from zero and the second placeholder that will be the percentage we will do the contribution so the contribution is the decimal 0 0.222 but this part will format it to percent with the two decimal places and um, let's write the final total sum console dot right line and we will do total total sum of sales is and here we will do similar uh, like we did with percentage but this is a this is a this is a currency so a placeholder will be formatted with c which is a currency and again two which is for, with two decimal places so it will be like uh 20.00 dollars instead of just 20 and the sum is stored in our sum variable like that and um, actually the exercise they want us to display the report showing each original value so uh i forgot about that so over here when it says sale number uh, one contributed and whatever percentage i'm gonna add so sale number one was and i will type the actual amount of the sale and again it's gonna be a currency so this is placeholder one uh, zero this is placeholder uh, with index one so I'm going to change the percentage to placeholder number two so, and write end here. So sale number one was, let's say, $20 and contributed 22.2%. So over here, when it says I plus one, that's the what number of sale uh, or the sale number that we are going through. And the actual amount of that sale is obviously stored in our sales array. With index of i and since we are using c2 over here in the formatting that will be formatted to a currency with two decimal places the same way like the sum is underneath okay so well, let's run it i'm gonna run it now oh i can still i'm missing a space here please enter number of sales if i type a number it's gonna be all crowded together so let me just end, add a space there when it says please enter number of sales and a space after. And over here I will do the same. Please enter sale number and I will add a space there. Like that. So let's run it again. Please enter number of sales. Let's say five sales. Sale number one will be $20. Sale number three, two will be $30. Three will be, let's say, $20 again. Then $40, uh, $50 and five will be i don't know ninety dollars and this is our output so sale number one was twenty dollars you can see that's correct and contributed 9.52 percent out of total amounts of sales number three was the same because twenty dollars and again it's 952 and if i get my calculator again like we can verify that easily so uh Total sales were at, that's 50, 100, that's 210 dollars. So uh, 210, so 1% 1 is 2.1. So if I multiply it by 9.52%, I get 19.992, which is rounded to 20 dollars. So that's actually correct. The same, uh, 210 would be the total, 1% is 2.1. And if I multiply it by 42.86, I should get 90 because that's a uh, 42.86 equals to 90 dollars out of uh, 210 for the total and if i add all the percentages together i should get a uh, 100 because obviously that's a hundred percent 23.81 and finally 42.86 and i do get 100 
So, and over here we also have the total sum of sales is $210. So that actually is correct. The percentages work too. The output is correct. So this is the exercise. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.